Hello, I am Buzlul Bari going to present my shell technique FACO emulsification in soft cataracts. FACO in a soft cataract is not an easy task because nucleus rotation is very difficult, nucleus break is also difficult, separation of the core nucleus from the sticky epinucleus is not an easy one. Ultimately, the surgery becomes stressful and challenging to many surgeons, especially the young. What is body shell? It's a bowl-like cushion made of epinucleus and cortex of the cataract that protects the posterior capsule during phacoemulsification of the core nucleus. Questions arise. How shell is created? How it protects the posterior capsule? How it is removed? Let us watch the video clip to get all the answers. Just after capsular axis, commonly we go for hydro procedure. But in my technique, I am going to clean the anterior cortex and epinucleus in a circumferential manner following the rexis margin, keeping the FACO tip in bevel down position. This part helps in two ways. One, True hydro delineation can be performed to create a shell posteriorly. Two, core nucleus gets enough room to prolapse that we will see later on. Separation of the core nucleus from the epinucleus and prolapse in the free space that we created now is very important in my technique. Shell will be created by pushing fluid at the junction of core nucleus and epinucleus that is clearly visible now. This is the true hydrodelineation. Now I am doing hydrodelineation to create the shell below, then hydrodissection. Golden ring is seen, so it is done. There is popping up of the nucleus in the free space that we mentioned earlier. No need to rotate the nucleus or to reposition it. I am directly catching the free nucleus with the FACO tip and emulsifying it. He observed the shell is preventing forward bulging of the posterior capsule and thus protecting it. Now, removal of the shell. I prefer to remove the shell with the FACO tip directly. You can use irrigation aspiration tip of FACO machine or even a cannula. Remaining part of the surgery is as usual, that is cortical cleaning and intracular lens implantation. Advantages. No need to rotate the nucleus or to break it. Core nucleus is easily freed from the sticky epinucleus. Nucleus emulsification time is very short, that is less than a minute. No additional instrument or equipment is required. At present, all the FACO machines in the market are suitable to perform this technique. Outcome is highly encouraging. I performed 250 soft cataract surgeries during the period of 2016 and 2019. There was no posterior capsular tear during the nucleus emulsification. In 100% of the cases, posterior chamber intraocular lens were implanted. 99.6% within the bag and only one in the sulcus, in which case posterior capsular tear occurred during polishing of the posterior capsule. So, in conclusion, we can say barish shell technique, FACO emulsification is a safe and easy procedure in soft cataracts without any additional cost. Thank you very much.